Hello. <clears throat> Pull this up here, make sure that I'm live. Let's see. Hey, man. Hey. Hi, everybody. Hello, hello. Come on in and join me and say hi when you're when you pop on. I'm so excited to be here. There's a couple people. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Mary. Hey, Sandy. There's a few of y'all coming on. Yay, I'm excited. So excited to be here. So let me just tell you a little bit about myself first. My name is Rachel Holmes. Um, I am the owner of Lovey's. And uh, my Facebook page is Lovey's Flowers. I have a storefront florist and gift shop in the town that I live in. And I live in Huntingdon, Tennessee, so just a little small town in West Tennessee. Um, thank you, Debbie. I'm so excited to be here. Um, so I paint door hangers, wreath signs, um, other wood signs, pretty much anything. And I sell that inside my um gift shop part of my shop now i have three children one of them um is uh deciding that she's gonna try to join us hey so i married um, my husband is a flight paramedic and i'm also a nurse practitioner so i do that part time and i have three kids one is 11 maddox miller is eight and my daughter, Miss Maylie, is trying to join me here. <laughs> here, you can say hi and then you can go with Daddy, okay? Say hi to everybody. You have to come over here where they can see you, though. Hi. Look, right here is the phone. Hi. Say hi, everybody. Hi. Okay, go Run. with Daddy and I'll be there in just a minute, okay? Run, Maylie. <laughs> go, go. Run, hurry, Run. Run. Trips to Dollar Tree. <laughs> so, um, I have um, an Etsy shop also. And my Etsy shop is Lovey's Flowers, all in one word. And on my site, on Etsy, I sell lots of things. But one of the things I do sell is some templates. So, the template that we're doing tonight is my design, and it is available on my Etsy shop. So, I hope y'all love it. I'm really excited. Now, I'm going to pull this up on my iPad here so you can see what the finished design or what my template was like to begin with. So this is the design. It's a pineapple. Of course, it's not in traditional colors here with some floral on there. And it's super cute. I love polka dots. I love bright colors. So this is what we're going to paint tonight. Now, I'm going to use pretty much kind of the same colors. Of course, you can make it whatever color you want if you choose to paint this design. So, I'm going to prop that there. Um, and then I'm going to show you some of the colors that we're going to look. Let me catch up on my... Oh, y'all are sweet. She's a mess. She's a mess. Okay. So, this, if y'all have never seen these before... These are little silicone, I think they're ice cube trays, honestly. Um, silicone ice cube trays. This lid just kind of lays on it. And um, I did not find this trick on my own. Someone else told me about it. But they're perfect spots for paint. And normally I will cut one on the end, cut one of these little dividers out for black and white. I haven't done it on this one yet because this one's brand new. But these are amazing because when you put this lid on there at night, you would think that it doesn't like seal great, but the, the paint does not dry out in there at all. I've had another one that I've been using probably for three weeks or so, and as long as you remember to cover it at night, it doesn't dry out. But the good thing is too, when it does dry out or if you let it dry out, you can just pop it pop it out, pop out the paint, wash it, 
and use it again. So, there's my good tip for y'all tonight. I got it on Amazon too, and it came with three of these in a pack for like, I think $11 or something. So, okay. Now, I have um, my blank already cut out, primed, and the design drawn on there. And then I'm gonna tell y'all the paint colors that we're gonna use here. So of course, um, the top is gonna be green. My favorite green, I use lots of apple barrel paint just because I live in a small town and you know it's easy for me to get this. I have other colors. I have some chalk paint and I've kind of tried several different kinds, but I, I get a lot of apple barrel. So parakeet green is my favorite, probably, of all the greens. So we got parakeet green and then Christmas green to have two different tones of green for my leaves and my, what do they call it at the top of a pineapple? Fronds or, I don't know what they're called actually. So two different greens. Um, and then for my pineapple, I think what I'm gonna do is, I bet this doesn't have a, it has been open. I don't want the main color to be so, so dark. So I don't wanna just use navy. I think I'm gonna use part navy and then part is this bright blue, cobalt hue, sorry. So I think I'll um, mix those two together to get a little bit lighter of a blue if I can get the top off, honestly. If I wasn't on this lab, I'd probably use my teeth. <laughs> I'll try not to do that. There we go. There we go. Okay. There. Now, got it. So, I'm going to put a little bit of that navy and a little bit of the cobalt. I'll mix those up. And then, for the lighter polka dots, do I want to use um, Caribbean Key West? Let's see. I think I'll use, I always go back to Key West. I love it. So I'm going to use it. Okay. And then my flowers are going to be. Um, like a coral color, and I love Tropic Orange for that. So, we're gonna use Tropic Orange. And then we're gonna use Bright Magenta. And we're gonna use Purple Iris. Okay. And then we're just gonna need some black and white. So I'll pour some of that in here. And um, I'll show you one more thing that I'll probably use at the very end that I have just found out that I like. I saw other people using it and at first I hated it, but now I like it. Um, and that is tulip paint. It's the slick tulip paint you get at Walmart. I like to do this at the very end, just kind of around the edges and in some details. It makes a little bit 3D. It kind of sticks up a little bit, so it just gives a little more texture. It is a little tricky to use. You kind of have to practice with it a little bit, but honestly, I like the way it, it adds a little bit to it. Um, so we'll, we'll try to do that at the very end. Hello, Debbie. Hello, hello. Okay, now, so um, I know a lot of the things that y'all do are yard art, and I will say I haven't done a lot of yard art because honestly, I don't really know the uh, mechanics to mount it, to put it in, in the yard. 
Um, but I, the door hangers that I normally do, I like to do them very big. So um, the template, this is the actual size of the template that is for purchase on my Etsy. So um, I think that it's a pretty good size for the yard. If not, you can always, you know, enlarge it in block poster to use. So let's get to painting. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna move my camera a little bit so you're not just having to see me. You can see the pineapple better. So let's see if I can do that. If I can make it look good for you. Okay, let's see what that looks like. There's a little bit of a lag, so um, if you want a different angle or anything, y'all just let me know. Okay. Now, the only other thing I need to find is, where is my leg? I got one right here. Okay. Now, what I'm gonna do is start, I guess I'll just kinda start at the top and work my way down. Now, I'll go ahead and warn you, I am very OCD when it comes to paint streaks. <laughs> I like very good paint coverage, and that means a lot of times I have to get do multiple coats. Um, so hopefully on this live, I won't have to do too, too many, but um, I cannot stand streaky paint. So there you go. Okay, so I've drawn my design on here. All of these um, at the top are gonna be green, and we're gonna be able to pretty much see these lines through there. We'll go ahead and, um, so it won't be hard to see um, where your leaves are. Because that carbon paper that I used to trace my design on with, the lines are good and dark, so I like that. So, I'm just going to put on this first layer of green and start laying down our foundation. At any time while I'm painting, if y'all have questions, please ask. I don't care if it's about painting. You can ask me anything if you want to. But if you have pet questions about my painting, you can definitely ask that too. So, ask away. Um, I'm really excited to be here with y'all. I've got some other designs that I'm going to be coming on and painting with you. And super excited. I love all the things that, that they've been painting in the group lately. I personally have been um, making lots of carrots, carrot door hangers. I made some for myself and then I, um, yes, Debbie, I'm using this all acrylic paint. It absolutely is. Now, the base coat um, that I put down, that is house paint. I use just regular house paint that you can buy anywhere because the white apple barrel paint to me is pretty chalky and I don't like that. So I usually use house paint for my base coat. All right, now let's paint our other leaves and I'm gonna do those in the darker Christmas green because I want there to be some contrast and they're not just gonna be plain old green at the end. It always kind of um, makes me feel a little bit worried at first. Like when people are watching me paint, I know people are thinking, that looks, that does not look good. Cause you know, your first layer, it doesn't always look great until you one, get good coverage. And then two, 
start doing your details at the end. Then that's when it starts really looking good. But I think this pineapple design is the perfect, perfect thing for yard art. I just think it would be so pretty in your yard. So I need to learn how to do the mechanics for that so I can do some. <laughs> Now, I'm trying to give y'all the best angle here. Okay, next, let's paint our flowers base coat. I kind of usually start with the lightest color and go from there. And this coral is beautiful. It is going to be... Um, it's a good one because you can still see the darker lines through it. You still get a pretty color, but you'll get those dark lines from your carbon paper where you can do your details. Okay, what kind of, could I move it up a little bit? Sure. Yes, this is a pretty big um, design, so yeah, anytime I need to move it, y'all just let me know because I want you to be able to see good. Um, what type of wood do I use? Okay, I use, I've used several different kinds, and I like different ones for different reasons, but I think my favorite in this one, what this is, is MDF. And the reason I like it is because I do not have a laser cutter big enough to cut door hangers. So I cut with my jigsaw. And MDF cuts very smooth and you do not have to, to um, sand it. I, I, it paints well for me. I, I like it. It's sturdy, um, but it is heavier. I have used the Revolution plywood that you can get at the Lowe's or Home Depot. It's okay. I, it it splinters a little bit, but you have to sand it. But it is lighter, so the shipping, if you're shipping stuff, it will definitely be a little bit lighter for shipping. Um, and I have used birch. Now, if you have a laser cutter, birch is great. It is a little more pricey. But... Cutting with my jigsaw, that birch would splinter so bad. So I do not like to use it if I am cutting it by hand with my jigsaw. So if I was uh, if I had to pick one kind, I would I would go with MDF. I like the thickness of it. A quarter inch is a little bit their quarter inch is a little bit thicker than what you get with like the Revolution ply and the birch wood, so I like it. I think they all paint well though, so the painting part, you can't really go wrong. So I'm painting my pink petals now. Hey Victoria, glad you could join us. We're working on this pineapple here. Bright and fun pineapple. Like I said earlier, I live in Tennessee and um, you never really know what the weather's gonna be like. So like yesterday, we were supposed to have bad storms. It really didn't. And then today, it feels like winter again. It's pretty cool today. I think the high was only like 49, but the wind was blowing, so it was pretty cool. But where I am supposed to paint is out of my garage, which is where I am right now. So I could not be disrupted much. <laughs> but um, it's really been too cold to be out here much. 
Yes, pineapples would be great wedding gifts. Very true, very, very true. What brush are you using on your flowers? So this brush is, it's one of the Royal and Langnickel that you get at Walmart. It is, I think it says an eight, but it's just a flat brush. It's probably half inch flat brush. I like flat brushes. I use them most all the time. You will see that. And I do have some filbert tip brushes that I work, work with too. I am from Huntingdon. It is in West Tennessee. If, you, if you're familiar with Tennessee, I am about 45 minutes from Jackson or I'm halfway between Memphis and Nashville. So my whole family lives here. Okay. And looking on the, looking on my actual computer watching the live, the computers are much, much brighter on there than it is. Like this is a really pretty fuchsia pink and it looks neon on the screen. I don't know if that's what it looks like for y'all, but it's on my computer, it's, it's a little bit brighter on the screen than what it is in real life, which is fine, but now I'm going to paint our purple flower. Oh, okay. So you're from, um, Murray is actually where one of my sons was, we were trying to get in a baseball tournament there this weekend, but I have a cousin that lives in Murray and I actually, in my other job <clears throat> as a nurse practitioner, I work at a clinic in Paris, Tennessee, and that's only, you know, I don't even know if it's 30 minutes from Murray. It might be, but it's close. It's not far at all. We've played some ball tournaments there before. Both of my boys play travel baseball. So, we stay busy. Your aunt lives in Paris, really? Well, I work at the Paris Women's Center. So, I don't know if she's heard of me, but I work there two days a week. Okay, now, in my design, oops, I forgot, I forgot a little spot. We got this little coral spot here. Okay. In my design, these little prong things that stick out, there's no way that you could cut those out with wood without them breaking off. So I just kind of cut around them because I, I can't imagine having to try to cut those out. I guess you could try, but I think I would break too easy. So I think what I'm gonna do is use a little bit of this blue cotton and just paint the background of those. You have a cousin in McKenzie? That's right by me. Huntingdon is 10 minutes from McKenzie. That's so cool. Small world. One of my best friends lives in McKenzie. My daughter goes to preschool in McKenzie. We have a, my family has an insurance office in McKenzie. So, very cool. So I'm just kind of doing this as if it was like sky or air around it, because I, I shipped this to someone I would want it to have a little bit of wood around there to hold it Janet Humphreys okay that's awesome she was a teacher okay I think honestly I should do this little spot of coral also Carry that flower down. Okay. Now, this area here in my template 
um, was green, as in it was going to be like leaves. But actually, I think what I'm going to do is just carry the pineapple on up. So, now, let's see. Jan and Shara Vladimir are my cousins. Jan is the tenth. Oh, okay. Vladimir. I've heard that name before. I wonder if I've seen that name at the clinic. Or that, that last name is familiar to me. Hey, Carla. Thanks for joining us. Okay, so remember I mixed those two blue colors, so I'm going to stir it up just a little bit. And you'll see how it it makes it a little bit deeper blue, but it's not um, not so dark navy that it'll make it too drab. I am going to paint around my polka dots because I'm using the light light color on the polka dots. Now you could do the polka dots first and then do around. Either way is fine. It's not going to matter either way. But I'm just going to do the dark blue. And then we can always touch up around the polka dots anytime. You could do these traditional pineapple colors. You could do brown and gold and it would look great. So, question time. For those of y'all on here, there's 13 of y'all on here. Y'all tell me what is your favorite thing to paint? I'm curious to know. Whether it's a certain design or a pattern or anything, just what do you like to paint? Still using the same flat brush too, by the way. I like to use flat brushes when I do my polka dots. I feel like it gives it a better edge. That's another thing that I can't stand is when uh, I don't have smooth edges. <laughs> I know I'm not alone in the painting world that have to do multiple coats because you can't stand the splotchy paint. Honestly, that's why I like to use chalk paint a lot. I don't know if any of y'all have used it, but um, I have used Dixie Belle chalk paint and I really do like it. I like it a lot. Okay, I'm going to move this little spot up here. All right, and then these are not the pineapple. So let's move you up a little bit. And then do the bottom. Let me make sure I'm in the right. You're new on the yard art. I'm gonna learn how to, I'm gonna learn the mechanics to put on the back to keep it sturdy from, you know, so you can put it down in the ground. Cause I think that this would be so pretty as yard art. The other templates that I'm gonna paint with y'all, they would be too. That's the good thing about templates. You give away most of your projects, that's sweet. And you make people happy. I'm telling you what, I paint pretty much every night after my kids go to sleep. Unless I'm just too tired. But honestly, it is one thing. And I know it doesn't do this for everybody. Because for some people, it makes them have tons of anxiety to paint. Like when I did paint parties. Oh my goodness. You would have thought I had asked them to walk across the... Um, a thin wire between two skyscraper buildings. 
because they were terrified they were going to mess up, you know. But to me, painting is so relaxing. Helps me wind down at night, and it makes me happy. <laughs> Victoria, if you've if you started painting and giving some of your things away, it won't be long till people are reaching out to you wanting you to paint them stuff. So if they do that, don't give it all away. <laughs> yes, I like the deep colors too. Thank you. Painting is very therapeutic. You painted six foot tall toy soldiers. Oh my goodness. I need to see those. I need to see those. Okay, I have a, at my shop, my flower shop, I have um, a nutcracker that I put by the door at Christmas, and it's probably six foot tall. It's very big. We bought him at Sam's, and I love him, and I really would like something like that on my, by my front doors at Christmas, but it would have to be something you could weigh down because I don't want it to get blown away. Now, these two stripes are black, okay? The middle stripe is white. So it's already base coated white. You could go back over that and make it a little bit brighter white. I'm trying to decide if I need to do that or not. It really looks good. I guess I could give it one little coat of white. But honestly, oh, <laughs> I bet you you're a retired art teacher, okay. That explains it. I totally get it then. <laughs> totally get it. Okay. Now, I'm just going to put a quick coat of this white on there just to make it just a little bit brighter. Now, hand lettering at the end here with this welcome. Of course, this is open to anything you want to put, whether a last name, um, hello, welcome, aloha, whatever you wanted to put would be super cute right here in the middle. So, you could customize that for sure. Um, another set of brushes that I use a lot are um, also from Walmart. They are the triangle handle brushes that you get in the kids section. Um, this one is the glitter one, the glitter handle. So I got those and I like them. I like them a lot. Have to put me a, my lazy Susan. I have a lazy Susan under it and it, it the weight of it is making it spin. So I'm gonna paint my little black stripes here. And later when this dries, we're gonna go through and put some white, white dots on here. in the center of the flowers, but I'm going to hold that off to the end when I do the details because I don't want to smear that into the pink. Okay, so let's do our second coat here. This will go faster. 
in the first coat. Yes, the triangle handle brushes are great for your hands. They are easy to hold, they're comfortable, um, and they really paint well. They, they cover good without, you know, streaking too, too bad. Yeah, I'm all about the, I like all the Walmart stuff. I don't, I've gotten some brushes from other places, but but I like the Walmart ones just great. Okay, I'm probably gonna need a little more of this parakeet green. And I know from the paintings that I've watched on here, y'all do lots of shading and things like that. Um, so I'm gonna do a little bit something different on this um, other than shading. I love the look of shading. Uh, but this, um, I'm going to just show you kind of what I do to make it look a little more modern and funky looking, which is one of my favorite ways to paint. So at the end, I'll show you what I'm talking about. This green does pretty good with the second coat, so hopefully... We can do it with a second coat. This green is my favorite. Pull it down a little more. I don't usually, like I said, I haven't been painting out here because it's been so cold, but I have me a little heater. I don't have it on right now, but kind of like it out here. I think I could get more done if I came out here and painted. <laughs> My family may not like that though. Ooh, the dimensions? That's a good question. I don't have, uh, let me see if I have something to measure this with. If not, I can get it real quick. Okay. Let me see. In my desk, if I have something to measure with. Triangle handle brushes. If y'all haven't seen those, let me see. Oh, looky here. Have a handy dandy ruler. Okay, so let's see. 12, 24. So it's approximately 29 to 30 inches long at the longest point. And then 12, so 12, 21 and a half inches wide. So 21 and a half wide by 30 long would be pretty safe to say. Thank you. Thanks, Ashley. I like them too. I love bright, fun colors. So let's see. Gonna keep going on our second coat here. Still our green leaf, flower leaves. Can y'all see that? I'm trying to make sure I can that y'all are seeing what I'm doing. Now this color on the other hand doesn't cover that great, so we may have to go over that one again. Um, you know, if, if I 
could come up with a acrylic paint that covered on the first coat. I'd be, I'd be rich. <laughs> Too bad I don't know anything about that. <laughs> okay, now let's go with our flowers. I love these brushes because you can get lots of paint on your brush. This is the first time I've made videos. Oh, okay, yeah, I, okay, I have a glow forge, so I cut smaller things out with my laser, but door hanger size, I just cut with a jigsaw. I have one of the glow forges that has the pass-through that you can do the bigger things on it, but I don't know how to use it yet, so it's um, intimidating to me, plus I just haven't taken the time to learn how to do it. But I do cut small things on my Glow Forge all the time. In my Etsy shop, I sell like monogram letter cutouts and words that people buy to put on wreaths. Some black paint on this. And um, so I cut all that out on my Glow Forge. And I do love it, but I do want a bigger laser. I did have a CNC machine. But I, I could not figure that thing out. <laughs> I needed somebody to come and help me because my husband does not know the first thing about it and he wasn't gonna help me. <laughs> so I ended up selling it. So I'm gonna save up and get a big laser. Someday, that's my goal. That is my goal. And the Glow Forge is great. It, it's, of course, not as fast as a big laser, but it cuts great. It's wireless. It's easy to use. Literally, from the time I got it and unboxed it, within 30 minutes I was cutting something. It's really simple to use. Oh yeah. So one day when I get the when I get a big laser, I'm definitely gonna do that. Have the person from the company come and show me how. I, I bought my CNC from somebody that owned it and they live like two hours away. And so, you know, I didn't have anybody that really could come and help me, but I think, you know, if I did have that then I probably would have liked the CNC. I just didn't know. Oh no. Oh, 9.30? Oh. <laughs> no, whenever, no, whenever something goes wrong, I'm, I'm in trouble. I'm not techie. I'm not great with technology, like even computer stuff. Like I can do basics, but other than that, nope. I'm out. I do have several friends that have lasers and they, you know, sell blanks on their websites and Etsy shops and it's nice because, you know, if they have a design that they offer and people want them to, they want to buy a blank from them, they can do the etch lines on there because a lot of people really like that. I haven't really painted anything with etch lines much so I don't know if I would like that better or not. Okay. Now let's go with our blue. And I'll pick it up again. Oh, sorry, I'm shaking the table when I'm cleaning off my brush, aren't I? Sorry. Okay. Another thing about these little trays 
is that it helps you save paint because you don't put as much out. I always put way too much out if I use like a paper plate. But these, you don't put as much out. And like I said, you can just put this little top on it and you can keep on using it. So if you paint a lot, I would definitely get some of these. What'd you say? Oh, <laughs> Victoria, yes, I totally, totally understand. I taught myself how to cut with the jigsaw because my husband, I, when I very first wanted to paint, I had him cut out our last initial in H and um, for me to paint. And after he did it, I said, nope, he's fired. So, so I just learned how myself and I've gotten faster over time. At first it was slow go, but got much faster and I've heard you know some people paint multiple at a time with their jigsaw I've never had luck with that but I just do one one sheet at a time Yes, it does. Definitely. Takes practice with that jigsaw. For sure. Just looking at this, I can definitely tell that if I wasn't on a live video, I would probably go over all of it again. And I'm not going to make y'all sit through that. And what I do to detail it really covers up a whole lot of it anyways. So, I won't make y'all sit through another coat. But I am coating this green again because it does not cover well to me. I will say too, if I don't have red on this design, but I do not like the apple barrel red. I've never heard of anybody that really did, except for some people use like a glossy one, but I use um, the Waverly chalk paint from Walmart and I like their red. So if I have to paint something red, that's what I use. Okay, now. I'm gonna get my, this is a little filbert tip brush and I got these off of Amazon. Bomegia is the brand. Just several different sizes of round tipped brushes in the package. And I'm gonna go in with our pink and do our little dots here. And both of our little accent things. That was four on this side. Hey, Kathy. How are you? Put a little more 
all purple on here and then I've got to do this blue. I don't ever use a hair dryer. <laughs> Probably should, but I don't. Honestly, just forget it most of the time. this stuff dries pretty quick and I'm outside so that helps. That's going to be the middle. Alright, now I'll take one more over this blue and we'll be in business. And I'll show you how I detail everything. Because it's fun. We're gonna get our white polka dots too. And our blue dots. Okay. Now, let's see here. I want to get my smallest little filbert tip here. This is a uh, number two. Number two, little filbert tip brush there. And I'm going to do white polka dots here in this little, this little area. And I'm sure y'all have all painted polka dots before, but I'll show you. Let's get up there. Okay. What I do is, I'm gonna try to get do this without getting my arm all in it. I do the, you know, one side half C and the other side half C and then fill in the middle. And I know some people use the dauber brushes those but they are perfectly fine to use and this will definitely have to have another coat sweatshirt and then I'll be fine. I don't know if y'all are like me, but pretty much all the time when I get leave I have paint on me. I don't mind it at all. Like I said, I always I take my shower when I get home from work and then I paint at night, so I usually have paint on me. I don't know if any of y'all have seen that um, <sighs> covered in paint, yep. 
Have y'all seen that, um, those new jeans, they're Judy Blue jeans that people are posting about on Facebook? <laughs> they're paint splatter jeans and, you know, they're like 50 plus dollars or something. And I thought, shoot, I can do that for a lot less. And we can all be fashionable and wear all of our clothes because we have paint on us. My video freeze up. Somebody tell me if I'm still live. Am I still live? Yeah, okay. Got some Judy Blue. Oh, I bet they did. Okay, good, good, good. I'm still good. I need to look into that. I haven't seen the shirts. Not seen the shirts. Just going over my little berries up here. So when I do paintings, I, or door hangers really, read signs, I usually outline everything in black. Um, and I paint all my edges black. Um, one, it's easier to paint all the edges black than to like say, you know, this top up here is green to paint those edges green and then this one purple for this flower. and. It's just easier to me, and it makes it look more uniform if I just paint all the edges black. So that's what I do. I'm trying to see that the blue is still pretty, pretty wet, but we're gonna go for it. Let's go for it with our Key West polka dots. See if we can get them done. okay if I get outside a little bit into the dark blue. I'm not going to worry about that. video to pick back up because I can't tell if y'all can see me if I'm not if I'm not on the video okay maybe that'll work really know why, but they are. Okay. 
cute. Thank you. Thank you, Carla. All right. So definitely gonna have to go over those again. But we're gonna start with the top of our pineapple. What I'm gonna do is get my little silver tip here and I'm gonna add a little bit of dark green and a little bit of the bright green together. And I'm gonna go in, I don't think y'all can see them on here, but I can still see those lines where the um, the separation for the different leaves. I can pretty much see them. Is that okay? And I'm just gonna, you know, draw those out in a little bit darker green. Thank you, Mary. I love these colors too. They're super bright and fun. Your yard would be noticed if you put this out there, these bright colors. And if you'll notice, I'm not being super particular about this, because like I said, I'm doing a more modern kind of detailing on here. So this type of painting is very forgiving. some sirens coming close. Sorry if y'all hear that. Alright, so There you go. Now, like I said, I'm not worried about them being perfectly straight lines. Okay? Now, for my flowers, and I'm going to go back and do some more on that in a minute. Okay. For my flowers, when I paint like this, I use the same colors that's in my painting. Um, yeah, at least they kept going. You're right. Yeah, because my brother's my next door neighbor and my mom lives in my backyard. So as long as they're not coming right here, we're pretty good. <laughs> so I want to use the same colors in the painting. It doesn't have to be the same colors in the flowers. Actually, I'm going to use the blues, the greens, the purple, the pink, all in this coral colored flower. So I'm going to start with this and I'm just going to go through and just do some wispy strokes. 
it's not going to look right at first, so don't, don't worry about it. I'll do a little bit of the dark blue, but not much, because I don't want it to be real dark. Um, let's get that pink. Okay, some purple. Okay, and then my favorite Key West blue makes everything look good, I think. Now, this is how you can paint a good flower if you don't want it to look realistic. Okay, so can y'all see that? Well, we're going to do the same thing in this one. Let's see, we're going to do some little coral. And this is why I'm not worried about my strokes being perfect. Because this is not perfect painting. Okay. Do some purple. We'll still go in and do our black outlining. And it's okay if you paint over some spots and they blend together. I like that look too. Okay. And once again, a little Key West. Makes it all good. some loopy swoops on this one. That's probably not a word, but loopy swoops is what I'm going to say. Thank you. Debbie, these are fun and easy to do. Now, on my dark green flowers, I'm going to take that light green that I used at the top and just kind of quickly outline them. Like I said, I don't want it to be perfect. Because if you're doing this kind of look and you had one thing that looked perfect and the rest of it looked more modern, whimsical kind of look, then it's going to look off. Oh, thank you, Ashley. Thank you, thank you. This is fun. So I'm going to kind of go over my polka dot again. Yeah, this is a great way to make flowers because you don't have to worry about them being perfect and they still look so good and they're going to look even better in a minute. Okay, now I'm going to take that filbert tip brush again and we're going to add more to the top. 
Now, one thing I like on leaves is a little bit of yellow. And I know I don't have that anywhere else in my painting, but I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow to the top. This is lemon, lemon yellow, and it's the multi-surface um, apple barrel. So let me see that y'all can see this again. And what I'm gonna do is just get a little yellow on there, and then I'm just gonna make those wispy strokes like I did on the, and the best way to do this is to have a very light hand. So don't press down real hard, just barely let your paintbrush hit it at times. And that way you'll get that same look on the whole thing. And this is the style that I've painted the, told you at the beginning that I've been painting lots of carrot door hangers. This is the same kind of style that the carrots are. They are so cute. I love them. It's not my template, but I love it. Okay, now I'm gonna add just a little touch of yellow in here on these leaves. Yes, that yellow adds a lot to it, doesn't it? I like that yellow too. Now a little bit down here. Okay. Now, so we got that. The next thing I'm going to do is do my white, and I'm going to we'll go back over these real quick. typically like to paint anything over black <laughs> but I love the look of white polka dots and you could you know draw your polka dots out and then just paint the black around it but for the purpose of a live that's not always easy to do but that takes a little bit longer you have to be more meticulous and easy to be more steady handed and just I didn't want to make y'all stay on here all night watching me do that. Yes, 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 sorry. Yes, y'all have to stay on me. Okay. So y'all can see it now. Get that tail for the lag. details in paint but this kind of design will show you that you don't always have to have perfect lines because if you carry that throughout your painting it will look really good and we're going to do that Now, we're going to take a little bit of our pink 
and go around our pineapple. <laughs> I love this, y'all. I've only painted this one other time, even though it's my template. And I did it in door hanger size, and I painted it just kind of just like the template. So, I like it better with this way. <laughs> Cute. Okay, now let's move it back up. Now we're going to take do our white detailing, and I'm just doing the same thing, just putting random white strokes throughout, just to give it that pop. gonna do a little bit of white in my flowers. Not a lot, just a little. Okay. So now we're ready for our black. The white does look good, doesn't it? It makes it pop. Okay, now I'm still not going to make the black perfect lines by any means. Some on the flowers I'll do a little bit more, not so wispy, but I don't want the ones on the leaves to be real heavy. So I'm trying to be really light handed on these. But this black is really going to make them stand out. Y'all, this kind of painting is so much fun because, I mean, it's you just quick and flowy and nobody's going to know if you even messed up. But I love all the different colors and just the overall look of this kind of painting. Y'all, oh, that's pretty. I like it. I like it. Okay, now I'm gonna kind of go around my little berries here and draw those lines in. see those now. I'm going to do these leaves over here. Just hit them with a little bit of black. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do on these is first just kind of outline the outside. It doesn't have to be perfect, but a little bit more attention to detail on these. 
so you'll actually get the outline of the flower. All right, so I'm going to start here in the middle and just kind of do those petals out. And they don't have to be perfect. They can be if you want them to be. But that just kind of gives you the shape of the flower a little bit more. Okay. And this is the same way. And these have little marks in the middle. Now I'm going to paint my center black. Okay. And then I'm going to make this one the same way, just kind of go around. Got a lot of paint on this one. I think I'm going to paint this one in too, on my template. I don't have it painted in, but I think it'll look better if all three of them have the centers. Yeah, I like that better. Okay. Now, oh good, Mary. Yes, try it. Good, good, good. It's so much fun. So much fun. You'll have to show me what you paint. We'll do a little bit of light. On the edges here, and then do a little black. Okay, now all we have left is our writing and our puppy paint or tulip paint. So, oops, I think I just put a spot on my polka dot. Okay. So, get you in the view good here. I don't know if y'all can actually see or not. I doubt it. The word welcome was on the template, so I kind of wrote it out. If you're not comfortable with just freehand painting it on there, you can always, one, use a pencil, which is what I normally use to write it out. Um, because this writing especially, it's gonna be black. Um, and then a lot of people use paint pens me, I do not like paint pens, but that is a personal choice because I cannot ever get them to write smooth for me. And so if I can't stand writing if it doesn't have a smooth edge, that's just me. There's people that use them all the time and they look perfect. So I just am going to use my line here and show y'all how I do my writing. So I first just write it out roughly because then I'm going to smooth it out okay all right so we got that now y'all probably all know this I don't I don't know anytime you do a downstroke you're gonna make that part thicker okay so it's just a little bit of modern calligraphy. But like the upstroke's normal. And when I have a downstroke, I'm gonna take it and widen it and thicken it up. I wish this was all dry where I could lay my hand down. It's easier to write to me. If you can rest your hand on something, um, I do better anyway. You know, it keeps your hand steady. So, upstroke's normal, and this downstroke, I'm going to widen it out. Okay, now the 
E, this is considered an upstroke, and then I'm really gonna widen that out there and then fill it in. Okay, up for the L is normal. And then I'm gonna widen that out on that side. Oh, I'm getting pain there, boy. So this is the down stroke on the C. to do like the drop shadowing on my letters on this one just because there's so much other stuff going on on this painting but if y'all want to do that on a different one that I'm showing y'all I know my beehive template has wording on it um, and then my hello spring one that we're gonna do it has wording so we could do that if y'all want to on another one but I don't want to I don't want to add too much to this one in it be too busy. Okay. Ta-da! I think I'm done. Let's take a look at it. See what y'all think. See what you think. Okay. Let me hold it up. Now, like I said, I will go back and paint my edges black. Now, we'll see if I can point y'all in the right direction without. So you can kind of see it all. Let me see, it's got to catch up with me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let me see. This way a little bit. <laughs> Thank y'all so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can y'all see it? Let's do a little more. I'm trying to get it all in the screen. <laughs> I'm having to wait for the lag. <laughs> but this is uh, super bright, super happy. It would be a great gift. It would be great yard art. So, there you go. And... Thank you all so much. Y'all are so nice. I really, really appreciate y'all letting me be here and be a part and show y'all some of my designs and how I paint some things. Um, okay, everybody can find me at, um, if you want the template, you need to go to my Etsy page. Now, two ways you can get there. The easiest way is to go to my Facebook page which is Lovey's Flowers, L-O-V-I-E apostrophe S, Flowers. And there's a Shop Now button that will take you to my Etsy shop. And I have several templates in there. This template is one of them. Um, and then I sell door hangers and other things on there as well. Um, so you can like and follow me on my Facebook page to watch me when I do other lives. And then if you want the template, go to my Etsy shop. Um, and let's see what else do I have I have Pinterest which is Lovey's Flowers and Instagram I'm, I'm Lovey's, Lovey's Flowers on all of them so thank y'all so so much for letting me be here and be a part and y'all are so nice and encouraging let's see if I can put me up here now um, maybe I'll be able to see if I'm in the camera view. <laughs> Cynthia.
Ditia. Ya. Uh, where can you get the pineapple? Do you mean where can you get the template? So, you, well, I'll I'll have this posted in my Etsy shop also, but um, go to my Facebook page, Lovey's Flowers, and like my page, and then there's a Shop Now button, and that will take you to my Etsy page. And the template and the finished product that you can order is all on my Etsy page. Um, if you just search Etsy, you can type in Lovey's Flowers, all one word. So it's capital L-O-V, just capital L, lowercase, O-V-I-E-S, Flowers, all one word. And that's my um, Etsy page. Okay? So, that's where you find my stuff. You can feel free to message me if y'all have questions or anything. And, um, again, thank you. Thank you, Mary and Ashley, for m letting me be on here. And I'll be back. I hope y'all are excited. I'll be back soon. Um, I think we're doing a, the welcome one, the hello screen next, I believe. So, I'm excited to come back again. Thank y'all so much. And y'all have a great night. And I'll see you all soon. Bye.